Ciao Culinary Geeks! Today, another episode of But A Fried, my series where I'm making famous fast food dishes, try to replicate it as similar as possible, and cook inside an air fryer. For today, I choose the spicy chicken sandwich from Chick fil A. This is a very famous sandwich out there, there's a lot of hype around. Let's see if we can win the battle versus Chick fil A spicy chicken sandwich. All right, I just ordered my Chick-fil-A sandwich, I just arrived and nope. We cannot put the bottom of the, of the bag on top of my cutting board. I got a lot of comment that is not good. So we just push it and put it here. Cool, just arrived, pretty cool. Sealed with care. Okay, you open up the box, here we go. This is the typical packaging from Chick-fil-A. Open up. And I also received some comment that I squishy the chicken. I don't, here we go. I just take it out. This is how it looks like, okay? Uh, this is like some panning chicken over here. All right, let's open up. Wow, just two pickles. And seems there is nothing else. A little bit. Hmm. Smells of fried chicken. After giving the bite, there's that typical pickly flavor that is absolutely characteristic of Chick fil A sandwich. Chick fil A sandwich has to be marinated inside pickle juice. I have tons of pickle juice right here because, personal news, my wife is pregnant and she's been eating an enormous quantity of pickles. So be careful when you marinate anything inside pickle juice. Pickle juice is very aggressive on the texture of your chicken and it will change dramatically after 45 minutes, one hour of marination. So the marination for this sandwich is gonna be fairly, fairly quick. All right, I just scrapped for myself one chicken breast. I just put it dry. As you can see here, the first problem with chicken breast is one. Here, it's much thicker than this. So even if you cut enough, you won't have a consistency in terms of thickness. So at the end of the day, when you cook into the air fryer, when you fry as well, you will have different kind of temperature. So what we want to do is we want to pound our chicken breast. I got myself a kind of like Ziploc bag, chicken breast right in the middle. I got myself a meat pounder. As you can see, there is like the tenderizer and the flat surface. I'm gonna use the flat surface to pound the chicken. So this will have mean two things. First, spread out my chicken so my chicken piece would be much larger and nicer to see. Second, to have the uniformity that we're looking for. After we pound it, I just grab it from the bag. I want to cut this uh, more or less enough like this. I'm gonna put it back inside my bag. And now I'm gonna place my pickle juice. So now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of francs. In. And now I'm gonna add one third of a cup of milk. In. So I'm gonna marinate my two pieces of chicken for 30 minutes inside this mix of franks, pickle juice, and a little bit of whole milk. While my chicken is marinating, I'm gonna prepare the three step process that's involved in this preparation. Very easy, first an egg wash. One fourth of a cup of whole milk, in, and one egg. Quick mix. Okay, then the second step, which is our flour mixture, is gonna be with a lot of uh, nice spices. So the first off, I have half cup of flour. I'm gonna add the typical sugary flavor with half tablespoon of powdered sugar in half teaspoon of paprika. Sweet paprika, no smoked paprika in half teaspoon of cayenne pepper in. I'm gonna use baking powder, half teaspoon in. Half of teaspoon of black pepper one third of teaspoon of garlic powder, one third of teaspoon of salt. And the best way to mix it, boom, that's the top secret. Bam. Close it and mix it. And here I have. The third step is gonna be just panko breadcrumbs. All right, I have my three step right here. While I'm finishing to wait the marination to complete, I have a raised grate. So I'm gonna put and rest my chicken for 10 minutes prior to put in my air fryer. As always, I recommend you to turn it off right now, your fryer, at least 10, 15 minutes. You, you want to have your air fryer very nice and hot. Now there's a lot of debate around. Someone prefers Chick-fil-A, some other prefer Popeye chicken sandwich. I have done also the Popeye chicken sandwich right for you. 
in this channel. I'm gonna drop for you the link down below up here to check the Popeye chicken sandwich, the air fried version is very popular in my channel. Well, my fry is going at 360 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's getting nice and hot. I have marinated my chicken enough, 30 minutes in my pickle juice. So I'm gonna take it in my piece, take out the excess of marination and right into the flour. So the chicken is nice and covered. I'm gonna put now into the egg wash. The excess out. And then into the bank of breadcrumbs. So for today's recipe, I'm using a gluten-free panko. They're kind of thicker and bigger compared to the, um, the one that I'm used to. All right, I have my beautiful pieces of chicken right here. It looks absolutely outstanding, amazing. I have my kosori nice and hot. I preheat it for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, little tip for you right here. Do not apply any oil. I know that I always say that you need oil for a frying, but now the surface of the chicken is cold. So if we apply cold oil on top of cold surface, the, the oil is gonna get soaked up inside this fantastic bread that we have worked so hard to forget to get, right? So we don't want that. We don't want the softness. We want the crispiness of a fried chicken. In order to get that, I discovered the best way is the first part of your cookie to let them alone. Just dry it out, just get nice and hot. And then only after we will apply a couple of times the oil. I will show to you in a while. Cool, take out the basket. I'm gonna place my chicken with my hand. One and two. Cool, this is what, what we have. For two pieces of chicken, this is perfect. Cool. All right, first part of cooking is basically done, the one without oil. Look at this. This is amazing. You already get nice and crispy. Look, they do not stick. Let's spray, put it back. So we put it back at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about five minutes. All right, so we are halfway through of the second part of the cooking where we added oil. Let's check it out. Ooh, they look outstanding. Outstanding. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil right here. Nice. Flip it over. And add more oil. Those pieces of chicken are gigantic compared to this little bun. So it's gonna be huge. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take one piece of chicken. Look at this. Look absolutely outstanding. I'm gonna apply a little bit of um, mayo, four pieces of pickles, right here. I'm gonna apply my beautiful piece of chicken. All right, so on your right, my version of the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich in the air fryer, and on the left, the original one. I mean, there's no comparison for me. My version looks much, much better. And I just give it a bite. I love it. The crunchiness of the Breadcrumbs is perfect. Inside is moist and juicy. I love it. The right amount of spiciness. It is a lighter and wholesome taste that you miss in a sandwich like the Chick-fil-A sandwich. Try it out and let me know down below in the comments. I have also Popeye chicken sandwich if you want to compare the two. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fried recipes, more copycat recipes, and if you want to hear more about how to get the best out of your air fryer. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next.